Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's September the 16th, and here are your news making headlines this morning. Evangeline Parish is still dealing with the impacts of Nicholas. Ville Platt still experiencing some flooding. Casey Fall and Haley Johnson say they can barely make it to their own front door after Nicholas. They're having to wade in waters knee deep just to make it inside. It's, it's contaminated. It's not healthy. It's gross. And they got gas and oil from the lawnmowers from the, the neighbor. He's a mechanic for small engines. So they got gas and all sometimes coming through here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not sanitary. The lingering effects of Nicholas are having an impact along the Gulf where recovery efforts from Hurricane Ida are on hold in some places. Nearly 100,000 customers still remain without power in southeast Louisiana. In New Orleans, only 5% of the debris has been picked up. And in Lafouche Parish, many still don't know their next step after losing everything. We probably have about 25% of our homes that are, are catastrophic. Um, we still have about 95 people in a shelter up in Assumption Parish that we're managing, doing assessments on their homes for them to see who can go back, who can go with family and friends. So we still have a very long way to go, but I think we're ahead of the game for 18 days in. It's time to pass the disaster assistance bill for Laura, for Delta, for the winter storms, and for Ida. Second, we must also take steps to prevent this level of devastation in the future. That's Senator Bill Cassidy highlighting the devastation across Louisiana is a reason why the disaster relief assistance bill needs to pass. Senator Cassidy pinpointing damage in Lake Charles, visible a still year, a year later with blue tarps, a common sight around the city. In southeastern Louisiana, Hurricane Ida leaving hundreds of thousands without power and neighborhoods underwater. More than two weeks later, many of those communities are still in the dark. If you get a letter from FEMA saying you've been rejected for assistance, you can appeal. When writing a letter of appeal, you'll have 60 days from the date of your determination letter. Be sure to carefully read the letter and understand why you're deemed ineligible. When writing your letter, be sure to include evidence to support your request. So it's really important to let people know what's, um, let FEMA know what your exact situation is in terms of losses, living situation, et cetera. Then you also, you had to read that letter that FEMA sent out clearly. Um, it's going to list what the reasons are for a declination or, or denial or no decision or eligibility. So you really want to understand that when you complete, um, you know, get ready to file your appeal. There are still plenty of people who need help recovering from Hurricane Ida, which is why we're continuing to partner with the United Way of Acadiana for the Spirit of Acadiana Food and Supply Drive. It'll be this Friday from 7 to 7 at the United Way of Acadiana offices on Pinhook Road. Mostly cloudy skies out there today with a lot of tropical moisture it's still lingering about across the area. We'll have scattered showers as a result of some of that moisture as well. But I do think that at times this afternoon, the sun's going to be able to break through 74 for the overnight low tonight, 85 for that high. Stay mostly quiet headed into tomorrow. We do it all over again. In fact, forecast not doing a whole lot of changing through the rest of this week and into the weekend.